Okay. Now, can we do a fundamental triangle for a graph? Here's your graph. Okay. And we take two points on the graph. Two points on the graph. We do the fundamental triangle. Once you got two points, you get the fundamental triangle, right? Okay. Now, a lot of times you get those two points by telling you what one x value is and what the other x value is. So you get the two points on the graph that correspond to those x values. And you sketch the triangle and you label it. Okay? If I want to do the fundamental triangle for an interval, well, I could say, okay, well, here's an interval of the x-axis. I'll just use A and B for that, so here's A and here's B. Well, there's a fundamental triangle for that interval. It's extraordinarily simple, but you have to know what the words mean. Okay? So I'm not going to explain what the words mean again and again and again. You've got to lock it in. And by taking notes, you know, the thing that should be in your notes from looking at the video on this is, here's what a fundamental triangle for two points is, here's what a fundamental triangle for two x values is, and here's what a fundamental triangle for an interval is. So you can refer back to that without having, again, to sort through a bunch of videos and a bunch of confusing material. Just simple statement that you're going to use again and again. Okay, the definition of the terms. Okay, so make yourself a little glossary about the terms that you keep hearing again and again. If you see something in a problem and it has words that you don't understand, well, go back to class notes. And, you know, in, in class, obviously, you know, I've been way too entertaining and you, you're, you're captivated and unable to write notes. Uh, so I, I understand that. You know, it's, a, it's, it's a handicap that I have. Uh, okay. Uh, but when you see really important terms, especially if I put a heading up here, fundamental time, maybe, maybe write that down is a term you better understand, right? Okay? It makes it much easier to learn this stuff if you know what the words mean and if you write things down actively, okay? So, 